What's up everybody? Welcome to Crank and Pedal. I'm Lou and this is part one of our van build series. I am en route to Ed's house to meet up with Ed and Chase. The homies are currently installing a exterior cargo box on the rear door of the van. We're going to test out the bed, see how we fit, and also load up the bikes and see how they fit in the custom rack that Ed built. Let's go check it out. So there she is, the big burgundy beauty. There they are, the homies. Is that all right? Yes. So that's our exterior cargo box. It's gonna get mounted to this back door here so we can stick all of our stankies in it after riding. Pads, gloves, all the nasty stuff. So the van is a 2006 Ford E350. It's got 225,000 miles on it. It's not the prettiest. Has some damage here. But she runs. So we bought this from a carpenter, no, a carpet installer. It's just a big shell. If we open it up, you can see we've installed a third seat. Okay. I was thinking the seat actually came from an old pickup truck, and it's got the integrated seatbelt, which is rad. And we have a third kind of like half, or a fourth kind of half seat right there. It's like a jump seat, and actually, yeah, uh, yeah, part of a, a set with this one. So in the back. Ed made a big, huge bed platform for the three of us to sleep on. And then he also went ahead and created some mattresses for us out of four inch thick memory foam. And he put these nice cases on them to keep them clean. I was going to leave the nuts on. We just pull it out. And then uh, you can see we've got, we each have our own pad. There's three there. Yeah. You can sleep three wide on this thing. It's about six feet long, so it should accommodate all three of us. And uh, it's also about six feet wide, so we have roughly two feet of personal space, uh, which should be fine because I think we're all slide sleepers, so works out okay. All right, so it was the first test of the bed. We're actually not sure if all three of us are gonna fit comfortably, but. Here we go. Oh, I get middle. <laughs> <laughs> so with the four inch memory foam, it's pretty comfortable. The length is good. And as you can see, we have plenty of space. This feels fine. We could probably squeeze a fourth guy if we really wanted to. Anybody else want to come? Who's up for a road trip? It's going to get warm in here though. Yeah. That's the battery? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, so this light. is our shower setup. It's a yeah. handheld you got your, sprayer. Got your little button there, turn on and off. Just got a little submersible uh, pump in that yeah. water jug. Let's see, you want to see what it looks like. So that's it. I'll include a link to this in the description. And it's just got a little battery inside of here that you charge up. It's a USB charger. chargeable? Uh, I think it lasts a couple hours. Yeah, you put the charger onto there. And that's it. Very cool. So with this, we'll be able to shower wherever we end up parking for the night. Could be a Walmart parking lot, could be a campground, who knows. It does retain a little water, though. Could be your backyard. <laughs> it could be. 
So we had to swing by Home Depot to pick up the bolts for the storage box so we can mount it up. Don't go sideways. Don't. No. Does it move? You get nothing! Are you ready? Yeah. For entry? So Ed is sealing up the holes to make it watertight. Yep. First test, see how many pounds of body parts we can fit in it. <laughs> Hey Ed, can you tell us how the rack What's works? <laughs> sure. So what we're planning to do is all the rear wheels are going to go into these slots here. And each rear wheel has one fixed post and one movable post. And what you're going to do is you're going to get it pretty set on your, uh, on your tire size using these nuts right here. And then once you get it dialed in for each bike, you can just lock the nuts against each other. And then once the bikes are all in, somebody will come inside and they'll crank this whole thing down and each of these three movable posts will move over and squish the wheels in there and then their bike shouldn't be going anywhere. Awesome. Genius, bro. That's it. So what are we doing with the front wheels, Ed? Front wheels, well, those are going to go right over here. They're just going to hook onto each of these hooks and then in between each bike, they're just going to get squeezed in there and uh, the rubber should keep the bikes protected from uh, rubbing against each other. Nice, simple. Yep. All right, so we're gonna try loading in all three bikes. First time ever. Get your pillow out of here. Start with the wheel, front wheel. See the rotor's kinda hitting there a little bit. Yeah. That's how you gotta work. And you back in, get that rear wheel tucked in between the slats. And that's it. And the Enduro is in. She's in.